when we were allowed out to Niner practice, we could turn and watch Jimmy Garoppolo probably with, I don't know, uh, 30 yards between fields away from Trey Lance, just working out. I, I throwing the ball, getting a sweat in John, getting loose and, um, waiting for his time. You said it's one of the, it's the weirdest thing you've ever seen at an NFL camp. Let me rephrase it. It's the most normal, bizarre, weird thing I've ever seen. Cause it, it, it doesn't feel like there's no contention. There's no weirdness on the camps, right? There's no like, Jimmy's like, fuck you. And, and Kyle's like, go home. It, it's not, there's it no could be infinitely there, weird. Right? Yeah. There's no anxiety actually there. But like, different, people, like Sean walking around, that's weird at yeah, Texas. 100%. But like the coaches are passing them, talking to them. Mike Shanahan's coming, tapping them on the ass, bullshitting with them. It's, it Mike is, Shanahan is bullshitting <laughs> with Jimmy Garoppolo. It's the most normal, bizarre, batshit thing I've ever seen. And, and Mayoko, Cam Inman, these guys have been running the league, all agreed it. this is unprecedented. Yet, I do agree that, like, it's normal if Jimmy wants to make it normal and he's making it normal. Like, it's it's not. It shouldn't be normal. It wouldn't be normal anywhere else. Guy, if this was happening in Philadelphia... In Dallas, I, it would be a zoo. But I, I think everyone's so numb to it. Jimmy's cool with it. It it, it kind of works watching it. I, I put my scout eye on for just a quick, like, two minutes when he just threw a couple. I was like, Jimmy Garoppolo, he's better than 50, you know, 15 might be strong, but minimum 8 to 12 starting quarterbacks right now. Like, he looked healthy. He could make – he threw a couple deep balls. I mean, he can throw it. Remember, Rap like, 40 yards. He can throw it 40 yards. He can, he's looking like normal Jimmy Garoppolo, tan on point, sweating, in good shape. It, it was trainers, but it kind of had – they had the vibe of, like, you know, the Garoppolo brothers, a little smaller, but they were all out there catching. Jimmy did a couple of these, like, you know, he's, like, setting them up. And it's just – this is a quarter – what team guy right now in the National Football League has a guy – who is a legitimate NFL starter. No one argues that. He is a lock to be a starter in 2023 when he can just free agency starts and he just pick a team. Just on their team, who is kind of available for trade and they will eventually cut just around, but not practicing. But yet, in a weird way, and we mentioned this, if Trey were to break his leg, he would enter practice the next day. It is, it's crazy. I mean, it, it really, but it's not. That's what's so wild. About He's it. gone, but then if something crazy happened, he'd be right back in a heartbeat like that. If the worst possible scenario happened for the four, what would you? What about a high ankle sprain? Trey might miss like two games. I think he's gone. High ankle sprain a month minimum. Then they try to they try to get Jimmy to take a pay cut. What do you think about this? Someone brought this to my attention as a theory. And I was like, you know, watch it today. Maybe I'm wrong. Could they go to him and say, hey, 8 million base salary. We will give you incentive. every if you if he gets hurt in every game you start, we give you a 1.2 bonus, right? So you could if you start 10 games, all of a sudden you're at 20 million bucks. Is that on the table? Because after leaving today, I was like, shit, if you told me that he just their backup quarterback, I mean, look at their backup quarterbacks. I mean, they, he would 1 million percent be the best backup quarterback by a wide margin in the NFL immediately. Well, would yeah, I mean, do I don't think. Do you think Kyle I, is open to bringing him back as a backup quarterback? Yeah, but I don't. But see, unlike right now where they can just keep him on the side and on their team, they're in total control. They're not in total control of bringing him back as a backup. I mean, they are if they wanted to pay him, you know, I just twenty seven million dollars, right? If they want to pay him twenty seven million dollars, then they can just make him their backup, and he can't do anything about it. You think he'd do that for twenty seven million dollars? <laughs> I think that he would do, but they don't want to do that. Would you contemplate right. doing that? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Because as you and to your credit, you made the point today, like. Well, does he want to go play for the? Does he really want to play for the Seahawks? Or Everyone the keeps saying he's going to go to Seattle. What world does Jimmy Garoppolo, who comes from Belichick and now Kyle and won a bunch of playoff games, want to risk one of the worst teams in the NFL? So, well, and his we'll best wide his, receiver is a deep threat. Jimmy Kitt doesn't throw deep. Well, he could throw deep to DK. Just why? Because DK. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I think that would work a little better. But 
is his stock higher if he's played a season with the Seahawks or been the Niners backup in next year's offseason? Niners backup 100%. But he also, he's not going to be the Niners backup for $8 million. At that point, he'd be like, no, no, no. You just release me. I'll sit on my own. But he's not a lock sign. to get he's not a lock to get eight million at September first. No, right? but he's rich. Like I think he just wants to be a starting quarterback. So if I were Jimmy, are we, sh- are we sure after witnessing today <laughs> that he's rich or that he wants to be a starting that quarterback? That he wants to be a starter, that he's just kind of cool with just going with the flow. I, I mean, I, I think he is going with this situation, but I watched a guy last year who competed his ass off. And I think I'm not saying that he doesn't want to play football. I'm saying he wants like, to be a starting quarterback. Would Matt Ryan do this? Just wait, you mean? I'm saying, like, let's just say Matt Ryan had been in the situation. They had, like, would Matt Ryan be on the side of Falcons practice doing this? I think we all agree it probably wouldn't happen to a guy no. in that stature, yeah. right? I'm not saying Jimmy's but it may, it, You know, again, like, we talked about this. It may be that come next Monday or next Wednesday that maybe there's an internal drop dead date with them. Like, we will release you if we don't have something done with you by day X. Um, cause you I, and I, I are, are basic. I, I felt pretty normal today watching everyone just kind of, Hey, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy. But, but I think, I think Kyle Shanahan would have to acknowledge that that is not the ideal situation for Trey Lance to have Jimmy Garoppolo around as his backup quarterback. It's, it's 100%. It is the greatest protection for the team in theory. If you are getting it, the thing is, this is so hard to measure. Like we're talking about Alex Rodriguez and Derek Jeter. No one debates, even Jeter said in the doc, Alex's numbers are so much. I can't win a, a debate about numbers. He said, I'm not blind. But he does have the rings. And even that sometimes feels like a cop-out. But the one thing I thought watching, Jeter makes these plays. Jeter threw a runner out at home in game one of the World Series against the Mets. And it's just the play that I wondered, like, A-Rod's made some great plays, but would A-Rod have made that play? It's really impossible to measure. It's clear that you are safer if Jimmy Garoppolo is your backup and Trey Lance is your starting quarterback if Trey Lance should get hurt. What's hard to measure is, well, what does it take away from Trey Lance's ability to be your starting quarterback if you've got this sort of safety net behind him who also happens to be a guy who's been to a Super Bowl at an NFC Championship game? And I think even Kyle would acknowledge, yeah, it'd be it'd be nice having a really good backup around, but that's not what's best for Trey Lance. Do you think Kyle think was okay he, going to be a Nate Sudfeld to be his backup week one? Do you think he's just reserved to that? Kind of feels that way. I haven't really thought that option, much about it. Other option is get Jimmy to be his backup quarterback. Yeah, or, you know. Sign somebody? Sign a guy that gets I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I. If you're a betting really, man right now, you'd say Nate Sudfeld's the backup? Well, who are they going to? I don't think he's okay with it necessarily. But, I mean, I think he does fit the bill of the types of quarterbacks Kyle has won with before. Trey Lance is the the guy that's Trey Lance is different than anybody yeah. Kyle's coached since Washington, right? Yeah, he's had a lot of guys that can't move and not great arms. So, I mean, uh, yeah, it's debatable that to say keeping Jimmy is could best protect the team. I I think it's not what's best for Trey. My point on Jimmy is if you were Garoppolo, wouldn't you rather get cut and wait on your own to see if somebody needs you week three, let's say, than be their backup for eight? million dollars even if you may not get eight million dollars somewhere else at some point the price of just you're willing to give something up to control your own destiny and remember jimmy was sitting on the bench when the niners traded for him it's a long time ago though now i'm just saying he has the experience of joining a team mid-year and immediately making a positive impact stepping right in and being able to play five game win streak like 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 i don't think I wonder if Jimmy is not afraid of that. You know, I heard someone say the other day, and I I remember thinking it was insane, but I actually believe I was wrong questioning. Do you remember when Jimmy arrived? People are like, they're they're not dead set on extending him. They are they are prepared potentially to franchise and trade him and still get Kirk Cousins. And remember, we were like, like, what are they talking about? Looking back, I I actually think that was true. I think when they did the trade, let's do the trade, figure it, it out. Fell in our like, lap. Right. Yeah, it fell in our lap, get a trial period. But we know for a fact, we still want Kirk Cousins and we can trade him. But then he won those five games. And they're like, shit, you know, we might as well 
instead of paying 25 more million for Cousins, just keep this guy. The difference might, even if Cousins we think is a little better, like we'll just take Jimmy. I actually believe that. Because remember that tweet? We all, everyone's like, what? They're going to franchise and trade Jimmy and still go after Cousins? That's, that's insane. I actually think that was true. 